welcome back to the Dogs What's It's channel. Let's bring you straight back in. Right, so while I've been off, I have extended this just a little bit. I sifted some dust, and in order to do that, I have upgraded one of the meshes. I did make another mesh, you just feed the worms to get more string. And then I'm going to upgrade the other one to a flint mesh. Um, but we'll swap them round. Right, so flint mesh in there. Iron mesh in the heavy sieve, because I use the heavy sieve more than I use the standard sieve. Because you can use the heavy sieve for compressed blocks. Right, so let's harvest some of this. And we should... Yep, we've done our quest. Right, so we'll plant another one of them. Plant some more of them. Plant some more of them, because this farm will be coming up soon. We don't use this for long. So let's just leave them growing. Right. Also, we got another book, um, which I found very interesting. And I think we got this for completing quest six D. I didn't realize we completed that many, but hey ho. We got this book for the dripper, so it tells you all the liquids that you can put in it. So you can put honey in it, and you can get honey block, endstone, budding amethyst. I don't know how you get a budding amethyst. So that'll be cool. Red sand and compressed red sand. Um, for lava you can get magma, coal blocks, soul sand and compressed coal soul sand. For milk you can get mycelium, powdered snow and calcite. For water, grass, moss block, clay, compressed clay Double compressed cobblestone has got... Ooh, we'll have to test that one. You can get dirt. You can get compressed dirt. Oh, ah, you can oxidise copper blocks in it as well. That'll be a lot easier. And sponge. And for XP, liquid XP, which we get later on, we can get crane obsidian, glowstone, Double compressed cobblestone will give you mixed ore types with XP. And we can get quartz ore. Ooh, okay. Right, so didn't we have some double compressed cobblestone somewhere? Yeah, we have one piece. Okay, so let's pop the books in here for now. Um, yeah, we're going to need some water, which I don't think I have any leaves. I fed them all to the... No, I've got one left. Um, yeah, don't need that right now. Alright, so are you in there? I think we've got enough leaves around here. <laughs> right, we need another crook. Right, but that's given us some leaves to feed into there for to get some more water. And um, we will make another crook. Why can't I make a crook? What am I missing? Oh, I've got stone. There it is. Right, so we've got another crook. We just need water. Ah, 
hello there worms. Now apparently there is a rare worm. No, nope, that's not for breeding, it's apples isn't it? And not of the cooked variety. You want an apple? Nope, no, no gold worm. Right, so what was our quest while we're waiting for that? Right, so we've now got the magic book. Since we're in the farming mood, why not make things a little easier and make a botany pot? We're there already, cool. Right, so to make botany pots, we've got to make clay. Oh, mind you, we've got clay in there, haven't we? We couldn't just pinch some from in there. in the dripper book. How do we make clay? I can't remember. Dripper. Uh, liquids. Right, so we need clay. Compressed dust gives us compressed clay. Okay, we've we got enough dust left. We have right, so one bucket of water is ready. I think we need to work on the compressed dust first. Give you that, get rid of that, put one of them in there. Right, so you can be turning into clay, and let's get you making more water. Right, so what's our quest at the minute? So, magic book. Welcome to the Stone Block 2 Magical Quest Term. In here, you will fa you will follow along with magic related quests. Um, right, so we need to collect two of each essence. Do we have each one? Possibly. Right, so let's make some space. collected while digging around. Right, are you clay yet? No, you still look like dust to me. You can have some more leaves there. Right. Craft an earth rune, water rune, spirit rune. Right, so we definitely need clay and lots of it. <laughs> but I want to use the dripper for the other thing. Um, that wasn't it. I want to see what it gives us. Right, you're now clay. Do I need to use you to harvest it?
I'm glad when we get our water cow sorted. Um, right, so we've got some compressed clay. So. I know we need some of that. Let's have a gander. Ew. These weren't in it before. These spikes. <laughs> Where's the hopper pot? Right, well I know that we need to cook some clay and then we need to cook some clay blocks are you clay? I think you are some more coal. Got a little bit there. I can't remember how many we need but I'm pretty sure we need terracotta. some more compressed dust <clears throat> right your bricks and your terracotta. Right, so now with the bricks we should be able to make a clay pot. And then... Right, so we need an earth rune. Don't we need to make a spirit rune first? Um, I'll tidy up there. <laughs> right, so spirit rune. Nope, that wasn't it. have enough of the earth essence. Yep, we're missing earth essence. So... Um, no, we've got no more compressed dust. Right, let's have this bucket of water out. And see what that turns into. Um, 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 um. I don't think we need them anymore. We've got a clay, we've got a flower pot. 
So we need some. Right, so if we craft a wand, we should be able. No, we've got that. What am I doing? Earth essence. <laughs> so, do we have any dripstone? We do. Right, so we turn that into dripstone blocks. And then if we make a wand, we should be able to turn this. So I'll tidy up after. We do need that, don't need that. Okay, loads of this light essence, but no earth essence. like they've managed to work out all of the early game bugs. Right, we finally have enough to make a rune. Which means we can make a botany pot. Yay! a storage upgrade that we got at the beginning. Ooh, and we've got a spirit rune. Right, so what we're gonna grow I'm just going to place it on the floor for now and I will do something nice with it later. Right, so mangroves only grow in wood, in mud, don't they? Do we have any mud blocks? I think I've got one somewhere. Right, so let's try growing some mangrove. Ooh! Oh! Okay. Okay, okay, okay! No, I can't, yeah, no, I can't do that with that pickaxe, can I? Right, 
So, storage upgrade. <clears throat> Is it not going to let us put mud in it? Alright, let's have a look at the book. Um, you need to add grass, dirt, sand or various other soils into the pot. You are then free to place any sapling or crops of your choice. Um, you can use grass, dirt, sand, soil sand, endstone, mycelium, crimson nilium and warped nilium. Okay, but we can't grow mangrove in it by the look of it. Which is a shame, but never mind. Um, right, so let's pop that away. Right, so what do we want to grow? I think oak is the the most used, isn't it? Um, we are going to need it for wheat and that later. Ah, oh, helps if I have some dirt for grass, or make it grow faster. Yeah, trees grow slightly faster if they're in grass. There we go, and that'll keep producing wood and stuff for us. Right, um, we did a quest, didn't we? Shall we do some arts and crafts? Let's make a porcelain totem. Hint, if you're a little confused, then it's probably time to explore the magic quests. Craft a porcelain totem. Okay. So, with the magic quests, we are on craft earth rune, water rune, spirit rune. The only one we need to do is water. We've done the others. Hmm, it's not accepting it. Let's look at the porcelain totem then. Alright, so we just need some clear balls. Done! And we're going hard again. Right, so now we've got the Liquid Cows book. Right, well I think that's a good place to leave it for this episode. And um, we do need to make an iron pickaxe so we can pick up that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We can't make an iron pickaxe, can we? We have to forge one. So we'll leave that for another time. That can just sit there to remind us. Right, so I think that's going to be all for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. I haven't built a chance cube room yet, so we're not going to open those yet.
Just cause we don't want to ruin the start. Even that could give us something really useful. Alright, we need some more leaves. But yeah, I won't do any more quests. I might switch this out so I can grow mangrove in here. Um, oh, do I wait till we go to the nether and then try and find some nylium so that we can grow the blue wood instead? Probably, because that's my favourite. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're going to get into the liquid cows on the next episode. Oh, we haven't got it yet. Is that the reward for doing the next quest? Yep, yeah, if we finish this one. Craft and place down a witch's cauldron. Right, well now first we need to make a normal cauldron. Um, magic stuff can go in there. Pop you in there as well. Right, so we need a cauldron. And then how do we make the witch's cauldron? Ah, oh, we just want that porcelain totem that I've just put away. <laughs> Alright, place that down. Where are we putting it? There we go. Right, so we'll complete that quest. Right, so now, ooh, we get to do the alloys. And we've now got Liquid Cow Book. Create a cow totem, create a cow using a witch cauldron full of witch water. Okay, well that's what we'll get into in the next one. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching. We got quite a lot done. It's not looking pretty yet, but we have a, a shell ready to decorate at some point. And once we've got the right materials. But yeah, we shall leave it there and I will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.